Hello everyone, Triple Nine here and today I seem to have solved the age-old problem in a way of having a single triple five timer with both variable frequency and variable duty cycle. Now I'm not saying both of them are independently variable on this board but this is definitely what I call progress. So first off, here is the circuit diagram which is pretty simple. Pin 3 is connected through a variable resistor, in this case 100k to a capacitor. 101 which is I think 10 nanofarads, I'm not sure. Or maybe even 1 nanofarad, I think this is 1 nanofarad. And you have pin 5 connected to a variable resistor which forms a voltage divider between 0 and 5 volts. And 102 capacitor connected to that just for some decoupling. The circuit is kind of simple and I have it running off 5 volts here. And right now it's giving me a PWM signal with a frequency of exactly 100 kilohertz and a duty cycle of 62.25% which shows you how finely it can be tuned. And this is the exact frequency and duty cycle I'll be running my flyback converter after doing some calculations using the flyback formula. Now I'm going to try adjusting the duty cycle and just see what happens to the frequency. So the frequency changes. I'm turning the duty cycle pot right now. As you can see, the duty cycle is getting higher. And that's basically the only problem this board has. I'll tell you how to tune it to whatever you want in some time. Camera, please focus. So this is turning down the duty cycle. This is very difficult doing it one handed. So anyways, this thing works. I can also vary the frequency without changing the duty cycle. So what you have to do to tune this thing is, first select a duty cycle you want, adjust it till you get the required duty cycle and then change the frequency. So for example, if I need a 55 kilohertz duty cycle, let me set the phone down and somehow get it to focus. And the duty cycle should be 50%. So looking at my oscilloscope, I change the duty cycle till I get exactly 50%. And then tweak the frequency till I get 55 kilohertz. Eighty-five, seventy-five, sixty-five, and then finally, oh, it won't go below fifty-seven apparently. So, anyways, here are the results: fifty-seven kilohertz at fifty percent duty cycle. So, I hope this simple circuit covers up a lot of my flyback converter problems. Should be pretty useful, I suppose.